This reading is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. All right, so I pulled these six cards for you, Virgos. Uh, from the top, we have the Eight of Cups and then the Ten of Cups. And then in the middle of the middle row, the, the Hierophant and the Nine of Cups. And then at the bottom, the Eight of Wands and the Hermit. <clears throat> so the first thing I'll say is that there's a lot of Cups energy. And I'm also picking up on a lot of the, the yellows, the gold, the, the green and blue in these cards. I'm sensing that there is some, a lot to do with your values and traditional beliefs and how you are using those in your life or how you perceive things that you've experienced throughout life again as values and maybe reassessing some of those things. So that's, that's the initial energy that I'm getting and I, I do sense that from those colors um, on an intuitive level. The card that stands out in terms of color really is the Hermit. And in this case, it's quite colorless. And I, I feel that it's about going within because it is very much about going within for illumination, not necessarily having to be alone or spend time alone. But of course, a lot of times we need quiet time and space to have those realizations. So that's really what that's about. And in this case, it feels like that reassessing taking place in a space where you can clear your thoughts, but not just clear your thoughts in your mind, but also clear away what your perceived values are. And I, I don't mean to abandon everything that you consider a value. Um, I think that could be dangerous on a certain level, but there are certain ones it feels like um, with the Hierophant coming up, it does seem like some things that you may feel are traditional that you may want to do away with or maybe even bring in. It could be that. It could be that you've in the past done away with something that you consider traditional <clears throat> and it may be that it would work for you in your life now. So in general, it could go either way, but spending some time to really go within to decide to, to get to know your values a little bit more and to keep ones that you feel are worth keeping and to do away with ones that you don't. Now, further with that, it feels like this is because of transitions that are happening, both with the Eight of Wands, which could be a move, it could be communication coming through from someone. I am sensing, though, someone transitioning into a new job, possibly even in a new city or country, and that, that also, for a lot of you, it feels like aligning with transitions having to do with a relationship or a family situation. So not necessarily leaving a relationship, though it could be for some of you. Um, we have the Eight of Cups at the top facing, essentially, this Ten of Cups. That's an interesting combination, especially with seeing the figure walking towards the Ten of Cups, because it does feel like leaving a situation, and for some it could be leaving a relationship if that's the case. It feels like there's something much more fulfilling in the future with both the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups there. But it does feel for probably more of you, I'm, I'm sensing, that you're leaving a, a place probably or a setup. So it could be like you've been a student and now you're transitioning into a new job and that's impacting your family in a way. It does feel like it's positive, like it will be very fulfilling. Um, emotionally and possibly even probably even financially it does feel like a good step for you but it feels like one of those endings that is tricky difficult just because for example if you've been a student it feels like maybe you've been a student for a while maybe you're completing a PhD or something like that and moving more into this this family life if you if you have a family or just the the career focused life so not all of you will have families or even be married, but I do feel like a group of you are making this transition and it is impacting a family setup. So a relationship that you have and possibly even a situation with children. And it's for especially those of you in that type of situation where the, the values to do with tradition feel like they're coming into play. 
I'm just sensing that there's even more transitions coming up, like possibly births, possibly rites of passage. And I just feel like you may be grappling in some way with how to handle certain rites of passage. Maybe you're considering doing something in a religious way, like a baptism for, for a new birth or something like that. And it's not something you believed in in the past, or it is, and maybe a partner doesn't believe in that. So things like that, um, that's just one example. That does feel like it could be true for someone. Sometimes I just give examples and it's it's not necessarily the case. I'm just thinking of examples, but that, that feels like it could be valid for someone. But for it could be something like that for, for many of you. So the way things are handled traditionally around a rite of passage or just a transition, just a transition for you. Like what does it mean to your family of origin if you're moving, for example, with your, your new family, you know, your current family, things like that. Um, how you view them, how you want to handle keeping in touch, the Eight of Wands feels like that. It feels like it has to do with communication. So it's not just it's not just tradition, but habits, it feels like. So maybe you're someone who is moving and hasn't been good at keeping in touch and is thinking of changing that because you're moving away from family or vice versa. Maybe you feel like you have always been that person who's kept in touch and maybe are going away and don't want to not cut ties necessarily, but really want your space and want to have maybe higher boundaries, different boundaries, let's say, around communication and things like that. Or for maybe for some of you, you're moving back towards family or to a place where you know more people and, and also want to think about your boundaries there. So. These habits, these values could definitely have to do with boundaries as well in terms of communication. So that's a major theme for you. Some transitions, but not just how tricky or difficult they could be in general, like on the emotional, mental level, or even logistical level, but also how, you're, how you make plans in relation to your values, it feels like. Um, I will say before I wrap up that there is again, a lot of that cups energy. So I, I really sense that while you may be leaving something behind, there's a lot of fulfillment moving forward. There's a lot of opportunity for fulfillment. I think you just have to be open to looking at your values and reassessing them. All right, Virgos, thank you. If you have any questions about this general reading or about my services, feel free to email me. Thank you.